BMW i7 2023. In this video, we are going to talk about the speed, price of i7 to its super electric motors carrying 539 horsepower and mind-blowing tech. So, stay tuned, because we are going to talk about all the specs of this upcoming BMW i7 in this video. BMW has finally announced the arrival of its first ever all-electric luxury sedan in its 7 series, known as the i7. It has gotten the attention of many people because of its high pre-price. We are also going to compare the BMW i7 with Mercedes-Benz S-Class, so wait till the end of the video to know which team has won the more points. Now let's get started, but before that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do hit it right now for more exciting upcoming videos. Starting with the most crucial feature of the car that every car guy loves, yes, the speed of the car. Its two electric motors can produce 536 horsepower with 549 torque which is quite good. The i7 xDrive 60 is expected to reach from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 4.1 seconds. It also has a 48 volt mild hybrid electric boosting system that adds 12 horsepower and 147 pound feet of torque when the turbo isn't fully spooled up. This car may not be for those looking for sports handling sedan, but those seeking comfort and luxury should go for it. As you know, it is an all-electric car you must be impatient to know about its charging and battery life. It should be good, right? The i7 should have a driving range of around 300 miles per charge, according to BMW. But the EPA hasn't released an official estimate yet. When connected to a DC fast charging station, the car's sizable 110.7 kWh battery pack can add 80 miles of driving range in just 10 minutes, which is insane. In terms of charging, every new i7 comes with 3 years of free 30 minutes charging sessions at Electrify America charging stations. Talking about BMW i7 Real World MPGE, which also has made us quite satisfied. According to the EPA, the i7 should reach 87 MPGE city and 92 MPG on highways, which is excellent for such a large sedan. Next, the most important thing is the price of this car, which has made it quite difficult for some to buy this ultimate name of rare beauty and luxury. This beauty is not for everyone to buy because of its good pre-price, making it a dream for some. BMW i7 models can reach up to $119,300, while on the other hand, talking about the i7 xDrive 60 trims can cost the highest at $143,110. The 2023 BMW i7 has grabbed a lot of attention because of its comfortable interior and tech. So let's talk about it. There is plenty of space in the front and rear seats of the car and fine materials cover every square inch of the interior. If you select the executive lounge package, your rear seat passengers will enjoy power adjustable reclining seats, a wireless smartphone charging pad with extra plush headsets. Also, there is ample trunk space, even if you need to transport more oversized items. A rare seat pass-through feature is available. Cool, right? Talking about tech, there are rare seat entertainment system. It can access streaming services like Netflix, Hulu and YouTube with 8K resolution via the car's 5G cellular connection. Not only that, but BMW has also added its 5.5-inch door-mounted touchscreens and a trippy illuminated roof to the rear seats. BMW Digital Key System is also a pretty attractive addition to this upcoming sedan. BMW's Digital Key System allows iPhone users to unlock their vehicles and drive without taking their phones out of their pockets or bags. It does not, however, work with Android phones. Other driver assistance features, such as automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, and adaptive cruise control are also expected in this elegant beauty. Finally, the comparison between the world's two best car brands is here. So let's see which one gets more points. The i7's two motors share a combined output of 536 horsepower and a peak torque of 549 pound-feet. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds, which is quite impressive for a 6,000 pounds car. Mercedes-Benz S-Class, on the other hand, can go 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds and has a top speed of 155 miles per hour with 496 horsepower. The EQS maze lag behind the i7, but it still remains one of the market's most powerful EVs. For the first time in history, BMW is not only compared with Mercedes but many other electric vehicles. That's because the new BMW 7 Series has everything from combustion, plug-in hybrid to pure EV powertrains in a single package whereas the S-Class doesn't. Now you guys tell us what you think of this video, or do you think that BMW has made something better than the Mercedes?